Can we just be kind? This is Jeannie King with Two Minutes That Can Change Your Life, asking if we are as kind to others as we would like them to be to us. My first job was in a Dallas grocery store, and there was a funny story of a woman demanding that the produce manager cut a head of lettuce in half because she only needed half. He protested that we didn't sell lettuce that way, but she insisted. Sighing, he took the lettuce to the back, telling his other employees, there's a crazy lady out there who wants a half a head of lettuce. He looked up and saw that she'd followed him into the back, saying she was sorry, but that was all she could afford. Recovering, he swept his arm out and said, and this nice lady wants the other half. All kidding aside, people often make demands that seem unreasonable, but it's always good to be kind. Honestly, we have no idea what others are going through and how close to the edge emotionally they might be feeling. Words are powerful, and so are the actions we take. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. There's a lot of tension, upset, and division in our world in general these days, but there are also many acts of kindness, forgiveness, and genuine love that don't get reported very often. Here's three things you can do when you are triggered. Number one, take a deep breath and center yourself. Number two, really look at the other person if they're in front of you or think about them as they might appear. And number three, see them as an innocent baby who was not born hurt, frustrated, or mad. And then just let it go. We appreciate you taking the time to listen to our daily messages and share with others. Again, we never know who needs to feel uplifted and encouraged, and we can all be kind enough to do this. Thank you.